Okay, thank you. Um, well, um, this is a presentation of a new uh, feature that we developed for OSM that uh, is included in the point release 7.1.0, okay, that uh, we will launch this week. Uh, this, uh, this new feature allows you to create a uh, let me put the laser point here to to create uh, an external repository where you put all your artifacts uh, for your VNF uh, descriptors and network service descriptors in order to to have a centralized point of trust in in terms of uh, everybody doesn't have uh, each own um, repository uh, package and then okay wh what was the last package how can we share this okay the, uh, the feature intends to to have a, a central point uh, to to distribute these packages and then connect uh, the osm with them uh, this repository uh, uh, is an http server then you you require an http server to serve the um, the packages and uh, you can store there the BNF artifacts and, and our service artifacts in the future in the future you you will uh, be able to add the, the images of your BNF and also to to share among the open the, the <clears throat> open source manner that you have connected to it and uh, work uh, in a better way integrated. So the graphic representation of the, the packages, uh, the BNF uh, repo, is a, a repository. Currently in this point, the, the repository is empty, doesn't have any, any, any package already there, and uh, it's only uh, serve um, files uh, by an HTTP server, okay? Um, if we create the repo, what we what we need is a, a folder with all the package. Uh, maybe it can be the RGC or it can be the the source of the folder. Okay, uh, place it in one side, and then the destination that is a folder that uh, is served uh, via <coughs> HTTP. Okay, so um, at this point. When we create this command, we are doing it in the server side. It's uh, the place where we uh, have um, the, the HTTP server that serve and all the OSMs that you do want to connect. So uh, trigger this command, it will be create this structure that is understandable by OSM. It contains an index.gml and a folder for the network service, another folder for the VNFs. In the folder of the network service, then it will allocate all the packages related to network services, and uh, for VNF, it will allocate all the packages related to uh, VNFs. So, uh, the, as I say, the repository can be local, Expose it to the local site or remote by um, expose it by HTTP. Uh, we'll have this this common structure. So this is how it looks like the repository initialized. Uh, it uh, can be accessed by uh, an URL and it have its uh, structure. Okay. Then uh, we have a, a client side, okay? Uh, when when you <clears throat> try to connect your, okay, you, you, you have your, your repository there, be exposed by HTTP, and then you have your OSM in other place, and you want to connect the HTTP server and the and the and the rep uh, and the and the OSM, then you will need to execute some commands in the client side. These commands are uh, for uh, adding a repository, okay, as a remote repository with uh, OSM repo add. You will set some description, description, uh, my VNF repository, for example, 
the name of your repository and then the URL of the of the repo. Uh, apart from that, you uh, as soon as you run this command, the the OSM is connected to the repository and you can uh, list uh the, the the repository that you you have connected and and delete this is uh, the repository handling part so this is how it looks like you have a repository here exposed via http and then an osm with the vnf repo already added so let me let me show you how it could looks like. Okay, imagine that you have here the con the console of your uh, OSM uh, client. So if we if we try to get uh, OSM repo list to get the list of our repository that we have it's already here, here we we have already added the the BNF repo. Let me delete it with the command OSM repo delete bnf repo so now it's up there let's let's add it with the command osm repo add okay so osm repo add you put some description the name of the repo and the and the url so let me show you also the URL, this is uh, the structure that I was mentioned before. It's a simple HTTP server that uh, exposed the, the index.jam, uh, the ML that basically is the, the pointers to all the artifacts that you have here. Okay, and um, well, let's, uh, if, we, if we do OSM, uh, network function package repo list then we can see the list of artifacts that we have in a specific repo if you have multiple repositories then uh, it will be added uh, with the different columns also you can use the long option to to see more information about the, the descriptor it works for the network function package and the network service packages Let's go back to the presentation. So um, as soon as you can list the, the artifacts that you have in the repository, then you can also onboard the, the packages to, to the OSM. So this means that if you if you want to onboard, uh, for example, Facebook, Magma, KNF, then you run OSM and F package create dash dash repo uh, vnf repo to indicate that is uh, that you are going to use uh, this specific repository and the name of of the of the network function that you, you want to to onboard um, the process will be the osm client will download it from the osm uh, from, from the repository and make the, the onboard also you could, you could use uh, as, uh, as you can see here we have the nf package create command is the same command that we uh, use always. And um, if you see here, OSM repo uh, nf package create dash dash help. You have a lot of others um, uh, options that you can use to override the package that, that you are downloading from. The repository like uh, the API or to set not the uh, API functionalities, uh, para virtualization, skip the charm build, this kind of things you can do it uh, to override uh, some kind of uh, well the, the descriptor okay before on board to your OSM. Uh, there is another okay so In the presentation, okay, we we have this uh, list of commands that you can use to interact with the uh, with the repository. Uh, this is to list the function packets that you have in the repo or the network service package you have in the repo. So to create and to show what what is uh, already there in the repo. So let's let's use the command example ns. 
network function package and repo repo list you can see here with a long uh, all the information of the network function then let's let's use the other command that is uh, network function repo show that it will be used to to know how how looks like the descriptor that is already there so for instance if we okay let let me let me show you better the network service package repo list network service package repo show and uh, this is quit uh, so uh, in this case we need to indicate which repo because if you have multiple repo have to be unique so uh, repo vnf repo and then okay you have the descriptor if you like to copy paste then you have the option dash dash literal literal where you get the network service descriptor uh, in in jam okay you can see here that this network service descriptor have uh, uh, one one bnf that is squid bnf and the the bldis and so on. okay so this is uh, pretty simple if we if we see one more complex let's show you for instance one that have the the gateway Okay, it would be repo show. Let's paste here. And it's a function. So it's a more complicated descriptor that you can grab it from here, modify, and then, well, push it. Okay, so this is uh, the functionality of the of the repo. The last step is to onboard. So I'm going to check if I have uh, what what are my what are the packages that are on on my system. So I use the regular command osm ns package list. So I have Facebook magma fix magma uh, in the repo. So you can see here the difference and the repo I have one more that is a squid so I'm going to uh, upload on board this uh, squid CNF NS package to the to the system so basically what I do is NS package create the dash repo VNF repo and paste the, <laughs> the package that I would like to upload on board so after that it should be appear here in the system so this is a way that you can you can share your your artifacts across multiple uh, awesome uh, servers um, okay so apart from that I have one in interesting uh, plugin that I would like to show you today that is the uh, Visual Studio Code plugin for OSM. If you uh, don't have yet in your in your Visual Studio Code, I'll really recommend it uh, because uh, you can avoid a lot of uh, issues when you creating and validating your descriptors, and also uh, it's, it's very use, useful for uh, hints about what you can put there if you don't have a lot of experience uh, creating descriptors it's a really useful uh, visual studio code extension um, then okay uh, search so the steps to, to include it here it's uh, going for extension then search by osm and the one is open source man of visual studio code you click uh, here and then install and it will install in your in your system so a brief um, uh, functionalities that it can provide to you you can see my screen here I have it already installed so this is a vnfd.jamml 
um, for instance, the version, uh, the, the things that are with the red line, under, underlined with the red lines, um, present version, you say, okay, uh, you have a, an incorrect type should be a string. Okay, let's modify this and put it as a string. So what's happening here, connection points, uh, maybe it's in, in singular. So if you change it, it instantly correct and say, okay, it looks, looks okay. Other, other feature that it have is the autocomplete part. So if you, if you are here, you can, with the control and spacebar, you can say, okay, I would like to you to add a key to you, then I'll just put it there. So what's the other things that I could put uh, for the key to you, let's say the name or orchest orchestrator. And then, okay, well, what else? Uh, I have to put here the helm chart. The helm chart is uh, magma, magma org. So it helps you. It helps you to to develop, you know, your 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 descriptor. Also, so for this hackfest, it will be will be useful. Okay, guys, any other question about, about this? If not, okay, I hope you, you enjoy the presentation of Mark. That is uh, the next one for me that will uh, we'll deploy our first uh, environment. Okay, I'll, let's go, Mark. Thank you very much. <laughs>